welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Singy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Mookie Betts. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Gavin Stone. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. Leading and I think a guy like Miami. that can keep a good the tempo, right don't give hitters Dane time to adjust Meyer. or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Number 54 stands in now and watches strike one. And the next pitch is way outside. Fouled off. He was late. Righty delivers. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a ground ball to first. Can't glove it cleanly. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And a tough play with a fast runner, but they get the out. And time now for the Marlins lineup. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Stone, 6'1 righty, 25 years old, and he was a fifth round pick in 2020. One out, base is empty. Next Whoa, offering upstairs. One down, base is empty. In the air, right side. Hernandez ranging after it. Two away down. Batting third, the designated hitter. Josh Here's Josh Bell. Bell. Gets the call. Strike one. The wind of the pitch. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Pajes makes the grab and that'll end the inning. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Trevor Rogers. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes... You know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. 
Mookie Betts, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Well, you always have to be careful in these spots because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot in baseball history. Wind in the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Down to the dirt. Swing and a miss. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Batting second. The designated hitter. Kike. Here's Kike Hernandez. Hernandez. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Rogers. He's become known as a guy that's really tough to take deep, and that is especially valuable today, Chris, when the ball's going out of the ballpark so much. Swung on, belted. That's bad. And it is gone. And the Dodgers have the lead. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's a ball. First offering and it just misses. It's very important. It's all about run prevention, right? So. Uh, when you have that, it's a plus. But if you are going to give up the long ball, you want the bases to be empty. And that's where control and command really comes into play for a guy like this. Next pitch way upstairs. And there's the automatic. You look at what the elite pitchers do, they strike hitters out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Top of the zone for a called strike. Yeah, all you want is a guy like that, take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Long drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there. It's a first inning double. He's a fastball savant with the bat, which is really helpful in today's game. Fastballs aren't getting any easier to hit these days. One out, runner at second. The batter now will be Will Smith. And oh, that's, that's off great. the inside edge. Ball one. What is it to you that separates him from guys that are maybe a level or two beneath him? This guy's not afraid to pitch to contact. So he's going to attack you with the fastball. He's not afraid to put the ball in play, let the defense work behind him. But what I love is the fact strike one. Best pitch in baseball. He does that at a very high rate. the corner and a count one and two hard grounder into the outfield for a knock Freeman around third fires it to the plate but it's offline it's two nothing that's got three hits in a row for the offense got the top of the ball a little bit but not much that was hit pretty hard through the infield so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Max Muncy at the dish. We need a base in here. Swing and a ball popped up. Bruhan getting an angle on it. Squeezes it. Hey. 
batting six. The right field. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Freddie Freeman. This guy had an on-base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you he's taking his walks, he's getting his knocks, he's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at-bats. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Ball, that's inside. That's inside. And yeah, that's ball one. Smith off the of first with two away. That There's one close ruled a ball. Two and oh. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two balls, one strike. And the pitch. Eight, two. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Onto the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Marlins nothing. Back here in L.A., top of the second. Here's Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. Stone back to work. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. Over to first, and quickly one away in the second. That is it. The center fielder, number two, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first. Two up, two down to the top of the second. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. Oh, and one. Bounce to the right. In plenty of time to first, Marlins set down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers two and the Marlins nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the second. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. The wind of the pitch. Oh one's the count. Here comes the 0 1. Hey. Late on that fastball. No balls, two strikes. Lifted in the air down the left side. De La Cruz pulls it in on the run. Batting eight, the center fielder. And next for L.A., James Outman. Outman. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And ball one. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. One down, base is empty. Look out! And it hit him. Well, the worst part on that one is he lost control against one of the fastest guys on the team. This might turn into a double. Over to first, and he saved. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. 
had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And now it's Gavin Lux. Wouldn't chase that time. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold lover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And it's even up. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a Runner takes off. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one, two. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good <laughs> instincts, not great speed. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Mookie now. 0 for 1 so far. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Outman, the runner at first with two gone. Foul ball. And a pitch. That's inside. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. Two outs, and look hey, out! That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Oh, that adds another runner, and now they've got one in scoring position. Looks like things are getting a little wobbly out there on the mound. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That ball's carrying. Forget it. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's five zip. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit one for one with a double and a run score first pitch just misses counts one and oh The lefty fires. That's Just missed. Two and out. And there's the strike. Two gone, base is empty, but three runs across, bottom half of inning number two. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Big three-run shot for the Dodgers. And the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Out of the third Leading inning, and at the plate for Miami, Otto Lopez. Otto Lopez. And a pitch. 0-1. Ah. Headed towards the corner, Hernandez ranging after it. Puts it away for the out. 
One down. Batting it. The third baseman. Vidal. Brujan. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. Pitch Off misses inside. One. And that is ball one. In the air to left down the line. And that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ball, that's inside. The 2 1. And it's fouled away. Out towards left center on the move to the gap. He's got it and there's two down. Batting nine. The catcher number four. Nick. Nick Forte. Forte. The next up for the Marlins. First pitch Outside. misses. Two down, nobody on. Swings yeah. through that one. One ball, two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. It's five nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. And a pitch. Ball, that's out. No, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. And Aye. strike one to the catcher. And that one is lifted in the air. De La Cruz on the move. And a quick out number one. The third baseman, number 13, Max. Here comes Max Muncy. Slide out his first time. Ball one. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Ball to strike. And a swing to miss. One ball, two strikes. The wide to kick the pitch. Two ball. The only two adjustment strike. he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Three. And down on strikes he goes. Out number two. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Hernandez batting for the second time, oh, and that's strike down. one. Pulls that one foul. Two outs. Ball oh. one there.
And another ball. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 54. The pitch. Just missed. That one fouled off. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Ground ball right side. Freeman steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of now keeping back. the ball out of the air. Lets the defense Ryan. work behind him with another ground De ball. Good execution. And here is Brian De La Cruz. He's 0 for 1. It's outside. Bounce to third. Muncie. Fires across the diamond. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Number nine. Designated hitter. Josh Bell. Josh Bell at the plate now. Fly to left his first time. That misses the zone. One and oh. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Pajes sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Bottom four. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Kicks and fires. The punch out there. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. He was plucked in his first trip to the plate. Outman. Ball one. And now the lefty fought off foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And that one lifted in the air center field, and it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, back in trouble, Boo, and it's just yeah, been like this for him most of the game. They've been all over him since his first pitch, and I think he's got a very short leash right now, really needs to lock it down here. Gavin Lux, the next to hit. And that's in for a strike. The pitch. And there he goes. Pitch misses. Throw to second. And he's safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base was impossible without that sprint speed. Line to left, and that's a fair ball. Around third. 
And that rolls into the corner. He will score. It's six nothing. Lux into second, and he's got a double. Well, that's a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That'll be it for Trevor Rogers, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Anthony Maldonado on a pitch out of the pen here. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Now it's Mookie Betts. Sliced hard but foul. Man at second. Rivera. Mookie retired two down. The batter number eight designated hitter. Kike Hernandez. Kike Hernandez digs in now. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Dodgers six and the Marlins nothing. Back here in L.A., top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Anderson. Tim Anderson. Stone back to work. Close nope. one doesn't get the call, and that's ball one. The shortstop takes a ball. Now, this is in the air down the line. Hernandez ranging after it, nabs it, and there's one away. The center fielder, number two. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm, Chisholm Jr., Chisholm Jr. the Jr. next up for the Marlins. Grounded out his first time up. First pitch, not close. Gets him to chase after that one. One and one. And a foul ball. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And there's a the ball. And a pop up right side foul territory. Freeman pulls it down and there's two gone. Boy that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well and that's what caused him to pop it up. Emmanuel Rivera the next up for the Marlins. 
and that's outside. Pitch misses, and now two and zero. Two down, nobody on. And that's too high. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Payoff pitch. Down the line. And a foul ball. The pitch. In the air, left field. And it stays fair. Now that second high three. fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I tell you what, it's not easy to do. Otto Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. No, that's First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs. And he pumps it a strike. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One left for Miami. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. The right hander back to work. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. Miami's bullpen with some action. Number 71, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Just missed. Right side. One up, one down. Now batting. Catcher. Will Smith. And up to the plate is Will Smith. One for two. And that's inside, off the inside edge. Ball one. And oh, another ball. Ball two. Two and old to count. Here it comes. Ball inside. Righty to the plate. In for a strike. Three and one. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. That one drilled left field. And out of here. A solo shot. And they boost their lead. It's 7 0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Ball. And a good eye there. Ball one, no strike.
in for a strike and it's one and one one ball one strike one down base is empty and a foul ball he stays alive Makes the grab for the second out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. That one missing inside. Next All offering two. upstairs. Right hey. through there for a strike. Three. Swing and a miss struck him out. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now 7-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, Vidal Brujan. Vidal Brujan. And here it comes. Aye. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Nick Fortes. Here's the catcher to hit. Nick Fortes went down on strikes his first time through. Popped up. Lux gets under it. Corrals it. Two down. Up next for the Marlins, the right fielder, Dane Myers. Back to the top of the Miami order. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter. Nope. That's inside. Two down, nobody on. That's in there. And yeah, the count even at one. I got one ball, one strike. This one popped up. Lux on his horse. Unable to catch up, and it gets down. And that extends the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, dude. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. That oh. misses the zone, and that's ball one. The pitch. Just oh, off the outside down. edge, and the count is 2-0. Ground ball base knock. The throw is wild and it gets away. And that keeps the inning alive. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard, like he did right there. First and second, two down. And now here's the Marlins DH, Josh Bell. That one's in there. That's strike one. First and second, two down, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Misses nope. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Here comes a pitch. That one to first. 
He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Dodgers seven and the Marlins nothing. And we're back. Lead Here we go, bottom six. Dodgers. Here's the left fielder, the left Andy Pajes. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Got him swinging. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Just missed. Runner at second here, one gone. And nope. that's outside. Okay. This one smacked out to left center. That's a hit coming home. He scores, and it's an eight-run lead. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie now. That clips the corner. And the right hander deals. That's a ball. Outside. At the belt and fires that one down the line and that's just foul kicks and deals down the three and two really good take especially with two strikes and the pitch and that's ball no, four that's the ball. Take the just missed there boom how would you now describe your strike zone? Kind of like a weevil, large. And next is the designated hitter, Enrique Hernandez. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Line drive, base hit. Around third. The throw in. And he's in safely at third. And a run comes in to score. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, number 71 comes on now. This is his third time out this year. And now, Freddie Freeman. Hey. 
fastball in for a strike and it's 0 and 1. Runners at the corners one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. One run is in. Rounds third headed for the plate. Oh, the throw is over his head. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. the catcher Will Smith he's already homered in this game that one almost got him swing and a miss yeah, the count even one and one. Movement in the bullpen. A right-hander is up and throwing. Freeman takes his lead at third with one away. And another ball. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. And now it's Max Muncy. And first offering is fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, oh, opposite right. field knock. Two outs with a runner at third. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. So four runs on four hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Marlins nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play, Tim Anderson. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. Bounce to the left side. And yeah, they take oh. care of Anderson for the out. The center fielder, number two, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That's a little bit low. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. Up and in, and the count's even at two. Two strikes. Oh. 
Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And here's the first baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. Emmanuel Rivera. Popped up. Freeman under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Another scoreless inning. And now that's seven shutout frames. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Marlins nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now Teoscar Hernandez. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. Eight. And there's the strike. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. He's safe. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busting down the first baseline, beat the throw pretty easily. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Next to hit, Andy Pajas. In there at the knees. The pitch. Foul ball. Hernandez on at first. Nobody out. Not even close there. And it's one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch misses inside, and it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And next for L.A., James Outman. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. No ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Out to center. Chisholm calls it in, and there's one away. Now back, second baseman, Gavin. At the play, Gavin Lux. Right through there for a strike. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. That's on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts now at the plate. And there's a foul ball. Oh, Pitch one. misses there. One and one. That one catches the corner for a strike. Oh, 
The shortstop takes the ball. The Dodgers up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seven. Upstairs. Out to short. Low throw, and he no. can't take it out. So on air like that, you look at the scoreboard and you kind of wonder if they are losing focus out there. And look, it, it can be tough to stay locked in when you're getting blown out. We've all been there. And I'm not saying that's definitely what happened on this play, but it's not a great look. Base is full, two gone. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Kike Hernandez. Hernandez tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. And that's outside, and it's 2-0. Base is loaded, two down. Two outs. That's ball three. Freddie Freeman waits on deck. And the righty deals. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. The first and now the first baseman, five. Freddie Freeman. Freddie. Freeman. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And it's fouled away. And that one is inside ball one. And a pitch. Freeman hits it in the air. Lopez on his way over. Base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 14-0. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never... Number 53 gets the call from the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's already homered here in this one. That misses the zone. One and oh. Two on, two outs. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. One run is in. Around third. The relay to the plate. He'll score, two runs are in, and the lead continues to grow, and his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. So, man aboard, 
And up next for Los Angeles, Max Muncie. And that's in the dirt. That's in for a strike. Smith one one. at second with two down. Yeah. And he deals. Three. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. We look ahead to inning number eight. LA is on top, 16 to nothing. Back here in LA, ready to begin the eighth, and at the plate for Miami, Otto Lopez. Stone back to work. And a foul ball. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss down on strikes and one gone. Just overmatched on that fastball now, right there. And it Don't wasn't see. like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier Ooh. in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Ruhan in the box again, takes the strike. One and one. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now batting, the catcher, Nick, Nick Fortes, Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. pitch that one the other way brings it in for the third out Miami down in order still 16 nothing and welcome back to the ballpark and now the right fielder Teoscar Hernandez Hernandez. And a pitch. Ball, Ball one, no strikes. Breaking ball in there for a strike. That to right. Moving back for this one. And there's one down. Now batting, the left fielder, Andy, Andy Pajas, steps Pajas. to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Go to 1. 0 and 1. One and misses ball, inside. Right. One and two now. Nice grab. Fires to first. Throw pulls oh, him great. off the bag and he's safe. 
Now battle. Oh, that one right there had the looks of one of those plays of the week. Great diving stop, but he just couldn't set up to make a good throw. Maybe got a little too excited. He was probably feeling it as well, but either way, that's a tough play and a tough error. Man at first, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. And that's in there for strike one. Pajes leads off first with one away. Next pitch, not strike. close, up high. Foul ball there. Out there to center, Chisholm under this one. Chisholm makes the catch. So a man Go aboard, Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Gavin. And a pitch is outside, ball one. Pitch That's misses. Ball two. two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. And that's, that's a little three. bit high. Mookie Betts three ball, up no next strike. for the Dodgers. That's in there. And now three and one. Boots it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's the right fielder, number 54. Myers. The wind and the pitch. Nope, outside. And here it comes. That's, That's down and in. Two and out. Off the plate inside, and it's 3-0. and That clips the corner. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Outman makes a nice running catch. He's two outs away. And up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one fouled off. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one back there. And caught on the warning track. Marlins down to their final out. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. 
The pitch. Hit to right, and that should do it. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers take this one in a blowout. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Well, this one ends in a blowout. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.